Hello folks, the Fallen Starlight here, going to give you a plastic Beyblade review of Killer Rapid Eagle G as a Brawl Edition. So let's get right to it. Here it is, Killer Rapid Eagle G. It's an appearance in the G Revolution Beyblade series, in the original Beyblade series. Hasbro did release this Beyblade, but they did obviously change only only one thing, which is the blade base, and they kept they switches to a 200 gigs blade base, which has the those clutch tabs, and it has a, a right spin engine gear with a semi metallic semi flat, and with a balance like this. So the attack ring is pretty much the most valuable one. As you can see, there are AT, AT BB3 Beyblade Season 3 TX. And there's Hasbro 2004. And here's Takara 2003. Very nice attack ring. And Killer Rapid Eagle is a two headed bird. Eagle bird. As you can see, there are by the bit piece. And of course, Hasbro released the Rapid Eagle G instead of Killer Eagle G because, you know, saying Killer would be a bit, a bit of annoyance for parents, you know, to buy this Beyblade. So here it is, a uh, ten balance with this. It's still in great mint condition. This Beyblade. Okay, put this on. Uh, red spin, engine gear, metallic semi flat, front Frontier gigs, front Frontier GT. The those these tabs for the engine gear to lock it in. And let's see it in this part is authentic. As you can see by plenty of larynx that have been covered. But this is authentic. And there's no stickers at the bottom, sadly, but it's alright. Most of the attack ring has most of its stickers. It only has one missing rapid sticker right there. Yeah, but pretty well, it's still in pretty mint condition. And the attack ring is definitely uh, mostly the most valuable part because yeah, this attack ring gets much more. And no wonder it's because in the English and anime version, they call it Rapid Eagle G because of its rapid attack ring. It's similar to like on Dragoon G with its 8 spike, which has the great, you know, left spin rapid attack. And for Rapid Eagle G, they, of course, it's because mostly because of its rapid attack form when it's in right spin. It's in clear format, so it just, when it's spinning in, in right rotation, because it is a right spin, this will have a much more better attack. For rapid, so yeah. Put that, put this, some of this back together. Oh yeah, for you can also change the CEW, which is customized engine weight, by simply taking this out, and then you can now just change the the CEW to like uh, let's say a Dragoon GT's male grip rubber rubbers rubber flat into the, into this. If you want, if you like. Okay. Some of that back. Push those. Ten pounds with this. And then the attack ring. There you have it. Rapid Eagle G. Rapid Eagle G. And if you want the like a bit of a tucker version. Just add like the, let's see, let me get that. If you want a bit much more of a tuck out of one, just simply get the blade base from Flash Leopard. And get, and the tuck version on the Killer Eagle was a bit different. So, yeah. So, there you have it. You now have a bit of like a tuck the Takara, you know, 
color equal G, but yeah. Just somebody get the blade base from Flash Leopard. And you have a bit like a, you know, the Killer Eagle G, but it's with this blade base, 200 gigs, you now have Rapid Eagle G, which is Hasbro. So yeah, so that pretty much does it for this review. And if you want me to do a spin test, just just do like a post it on the comments. But I won't, I, I won't be doing it on a BB10 because I still don't have that yet. So yeah, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and have a nice day.